ITV News can reveal the record number of fuel thefts from petrol forecourts. Some thieves are even taking an extra fuel tank with them to maximise their illegal haul. Figures from the British Oil Security Syndicate, which have been shared with ITV News, show that an estimated 1.5 million incidents of unpaid fuel annually in the UK. It costs four court operators around £100 million every year. On average, thieves drive off with more than £50 of fuel every time. And with a typical four court experience seeing about 10 of those incidents in a single month, it's putting really serious pressure on businesses, as our consumer editor Chris Choi has been finding out. Southampton, and the day we filmed here, this was one motorist not complaining about the rising cost of petrol. The reason is, he's not paying. His onward journey includes a bypass of the cashier. And then it happened again, with another motorist filling up and driving off with £124 worth of fuel. We're definitely seeing the last six months a big increase now in, in drive-offs and no means of payments um, at all of our sites. Our, our staff are, are, are regularly shouted at and, and abused. A lot of people will think if you're part of the fuel industry, you're a wealthy company. Actually, it's us small family businesses who are running these sites and the losses actually are hitting us and not the oil industry. Usually motorists look at the pump to work out how much they'll need to pay, but our new research shows that an increasing number already know they won't be handing over a penny. Some thieves come with false number plates. Others are arriving with extra fuel canisters to maximise the amount they can steal. This criminal technique is known as double tanking. Here, the driver has come with fuel cans in his boot so he can take far more without paying for a drop. And here, a similar attempt with containers piled on the back of the truck and on the rear seat. A member of staff intervenes, refusing to start the pump. If a boot is open, we won't release the fuel. Um, if the passenger is filling up, we will go out and investigate. Um, anyone coming with a fuel can, um, they have to prepay it. Um, and also a motorcyclist, um, we have to take the helmet off before we release the fuel. In this CCTV footage, one of the gang is filling canisters placed inside the van whilst his associates line up more containers. They then reposition and carry on filling their tanks. The industry security syndicate says non-payment incidents are rising. We've seen a 22% increase since the pandemic, um, which we can probably put down to many things, which includes the prices of fuel uh, going up, and also the cost of living crisis, which is currently taking place at the moment. When a forecourt worker sees this repeat offender, it shows the risks to staff. After this confrontation, the van leaves, taking £260 worth of fuel. And anxious workers are not just dealing with drive-offs. Most non-payments are people saying they have no means to pay after filling up, leaving retailers chasing what's owed. Northampton and non-payments are costing this forecourt around £10,000 a year. Here, the culprit has covered his face. Now security guards are being considered as drive-offs increase here. To watch someone filling up on your forecourt and then essentially driving off with money, your hard-earned money, in their tanks, it's a heartbreaking feeling and for it to happen multiple times a day, which it does, it is upsetting both financially and emotionally. This prolific petrol thief is interrupted by a rival gang and brandishes a machete. The industry fears this violent CCTV shows how the offence is often feeding wider criminal activity and the underlying problem could affect how we all buy fuel in future. Well, I think one thing, we could adopt the American model and that means you pay before you pump. But I think many of the retailers actually like people going into the store to see the cashier because they make other purchases. A spokesperson for police chiefs told us that where evidence is obtained, forces will take action. But some forecourt owners want more help against these thieves that always bring a getaway car. Chris Choi, ITV News.